coverage coming to you live and local from the original Green Turtle, 116th Street and Coastal Highway in North Ocean City, a part of the Ravens Beach Bash activities. And a big announcement we made earlier this morning at 92.7 WGMD, the brand new home of Baltimore Ravens football on the heels of uh, adding the Orioles. We now have the Ravens. We're looking forward to that. So once the Orioles season's wrapped up, we got the Ravens. First game, they take on the Redskins October 9th. So can't wait for that. So we are joined by the mayor, Rick Meehan, and Steve Pappas, the owner of the original Green Turtle, celebrating 40 years. Guys, good morning. Well, good morning. It's great to be here. Yeah. Mike, how you doing? I, I am doing great. I'm doing great. And uh, and Mr. Mayor and Steve, on the heels of Memorial Day weekend, now you get a nice crowd of Ravens fans into town. Let me uh, swipe that out just to use my mic here. Okay. Well, I think it's great to see all the purple in town and to see everybody down here. And, you know, it's just grown over the years, and it's really transitioned from, you know, the Colts Corral and the Ravens. I mean, it's it's fabulous. And for Ocean City to become part of that, which I know Papo was working on for quite a while, I think is really great. And it just adds to a, a big build up before the traditional parade, which, of course, pl takes place tomorrow. And, Steve, no better place, the best sports bar in Ocean City, and to have festivities here. I know a big Ravens fan. You're a Baltimore guy like myself. And, uh, it's great, and it's, it's, it's the fifth year now, the Ravens Beach Bash. Yeah, this is great. Uh, I remember I saw Rick walking with the Ravens Roost in a parade, and they were holding the banner, and they're coming down, holding traffic up, and I'm getting mad. I'm in my galaxy. So as we're coming up the highway, I thought, why don't the Ravens get involved with the Ravens Roost Parade? Because Ocean City opens up the door for, for the Ravens. So, of course... My um, playing partner and the member guest in Ocean City is Steve Bashadi, and I said, hey, Steve, now why don't you guys get involved with it? And he was like, you and Tommy got it. Whatever you guys want to do, you meet with Mark Burdett. So, so we sat down in the West Ocean City Turtle, and this Ravens Beach Bash, that's how it got formed. And now it's a monster, man. It's, I hope it keeps going for a while. It's a great, great for Ocean City. And, I'll, you know, it's great for the Ravens. Everybody loves the Ravens. Well, Rick. And, 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 Rick, it's great to see an event uh, that has been taking place for years. The Colts Corral, as he talked about with the parade, expand into a, a full weekend of events. They've done a great job. Well, it is. And, you know, we were at the Clarion last night. There was a big crowd there. Of course, I mean, they were lined up here to get in the turtle this morning. Well, not unusual that there's a line at the turtle, but lined up to get in there just to, you know, be part of all this and to see the players coming down and really enjoying themselves as well and becoming part of the event. I think it's I think it's been fabulous. And the parade is the one time that the mayor dons a Ravens jersey, right? But it, but it, it it's it's got a caveat to it, right? Well, it does. I pro <laughs> everybody knows, so I give up, they give me a hard time. Uh, but yes, I wear my Ravens jersey as I uh, am the Grand Marshal of the parade tomorrow, and always wear probably wear my Matt Stover jersey. Love Matt Stover, of course. Last uh, member of the Cleveland Browns that uh, you know was still on the Ravens when I put bought the jersey, but uh, I wear that proudly, and I think hey, everybody loves Matt. Stover, right? He's part of the tradition of the Ravens, so it's a great way to go. And uh, 19th Street is dedicated to Johnny Unitas there on Baltimore Avenue, right? It's Johnny Unitas Way, and we did that a number of years ago in honor of uh, Johnny Unitas and, uh, you know, all that he meant to football in the state of Maryland and all that he meant to those that came down for years as part of the Coats Corral. And, of course, number 19 is the number Johnny Unitas had on his back, and we proudly dedicated that to Johnny, and I think it's great. That's where the parade starts on Saturday. Now, Steve, from an economic standpoint, and we know with football teams in general, but especially the Ravens with all the success, it certainly helps all the businesses when the Ravens do well and go to the playoffs and, and for the other bars that may be <clears throat> with other teams. But uh, but that's going to be a, a big help, and it's great. It's great for the local town. Well, as you know, Mike, because you you're, the, you're the host of the Ravens rap show that we have, if the Ravens are winning, there's a ton of people at the Ravens show, but when they start losing and they're not going to the fans start, you know, but the, the, the Ravens fans are loyal, not like some other teams that we're, we don't want to talk about. You know, they, they, when the Ravens, even though they don't do well, the fans still come out and they still support them. But when the Ravens are in the playoffs and they're going, you know, Super Bowl, place is packed. The economic value that it has for us, not just this turtle, but the other 46 turtles that we have, it's phenomenal. It's tremendous. Yeah, and the extra playoff weekend certainly don't hurt. Uh, it certainly don't hurt, that is. Yeah, it, it's it's great, man. Uh, Steve Bashad, you got to give him all the credit in the world. I mean, I know he's a friend of mine, but put that aside, he is a great owner. He really just, you know, because he's from Baltimore, like you said, you know, his, his heroes were Raymond Berry and John Unitas. I mean, you know, he's, he's he bleeds, you know, purple, which is great. Now, I'm going to shift gears for a second, Mr. Mayor. 40th anniversary of the Green Turtle. Uh, give us some of your memories. I know we're going to wrap with Wayne Cannon a little bit later on with Steve as well. Uh, but while you're here, some of your fondest memories of the Green Turtle and what the Green Turtles meant to Ocean City. 
Well, you know, it's one of the original small businesses that was really started by a new group of entrepreneurs uh, back in the 70s. And uh, I remember those funky doormen that used to be here uh, looked a little different back in the day. And, you know, the peanuts all over the floor and the spiral staircase in the middle and, and the mugs and the numbers and making sure you had your mug and all the traditions that they started. And to watch it, it's been a true success. And to watch these guys when Steve and Tommy took it over and, and grow from this one small location to begin to expand right here at 116th Street, West Ocean City. And then Steve went on to mention now with franchises and everything, 46 uh, locations. I mean, you see them at airports, you see them everywhere. And all that started right here in a small bar that probably some people walked in and said, these guys are never going to make it. And look look what's happened. And a lot of it is just good food, good entertainment, good service, and really pro uh, providing some place that people become attached to, come back year after year. All you got to do is look at the green turtle t-shirts that you see all throughout Ocean City. Go to Camden Yards, you'll see green turtle t-shirts. Go other places, you'll see the t-shirts. I think that's a good indication that people are vested in the green turtle. Great job, Papo. And, and Steve, I've said this, you know, I have a great time coming to the Turtle all the time, but to me, it's about the people that are here, uh, the bartenders, the staff, and the people that we, we come together, and, and we've come together, uh, you know, we've lost a, a couple of uh, longtime patrons over the last year, so sadly, but we've come together, we celebrated them, and that, to me, is what it's about, you know, it's just me down here, my family's back at home, so to me, this is a second family, and people say, oh, yeah, right, like, no, I'm, I, I'm serious about that. Yeah, it's, 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 when you, when, when it's all said and done, it's a neighborhood bar, it and is. the thing, the thing that makes us a little special from other places we do give back to the community Tommy and I from day one we started doing that and we've even with the throughout the franchise you know we, we've given back so much to the community you have to you have to do that to be a, a local sports bar that's what you do and you got to give credit to the people that work here my goodness my my I, I think I've had the same bartenders here for 25 years I saw know? Denny last night he's yeah. a long time staple yeah the dude's back and I'm, I love him you know I told him he said you're gonna you're gonna be here forever I'm gonna have to put you in a wheelchair and try, see if we can tend bar doing that but yeah that's that's what makes the turtle unique are the people that that actually work here it's uh it's it's a it's a it's a one big family and you know Tommy does the same thing in in West Ocean City and Billy does the same thing in Fells Point it's just it's it's all about the employees and giving back to the community we love it this is what we do this is this is our life Mr. Mayor we got to hop in any final words here well you know I just want to add the one thing about the turtle it was one of the fir 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 excuse me first year-round businesses I yeah. mean you know that actually began staying open all year round and they were able to do that because of the local following mm -hmm. you know because of everybody that just really found this as you said a place where they felt comfortable so great location you know Thanks, this is sir. a great week Mike um, having the Ravens here I think the cheerleaders just pulled yeah. up so nobody's gonna be talking to Steve and I anymore <laughs> we're done I'm glad you got us in before they pulled up but to have them here and to have them entertain and and they're a great group I mean the way they interact with everybody and especially the kids I see them interact with during the parade and while they're down here I mean it's a real tribute to the uh, Ravens organization so we're proud to have them here and thanks to uh, Steve Bishotti for uh, working with Papo and making it happen all right we're gonna bring Steve back in a little bit Mr. Mayor thank you we'll talk next Friday at 820 and then okay. I'm sure I'll see you here for the for the anniversary party on the 16th right uh, oh I'll definitely be here if I'm not Papo will be calling me all day long <laughs> going where the hell are you and he's also playing in the golf tournament that we have on the 15th
company alive and local for the original Green Turtle in North Ocean City, the Ravens Beach Bash. We're in the parking lot right now. We've got the cheerleaders being flipped up and down. We got the band here. We got a lot of folks out. It's a great time. Free breakfast. Come on down. We hope to see you. And uh, we've got uh, Wayne Cannon back with us, also the owner of the original Green Turtle, Steve Pappas. And Wayne, I'm gonna have you take it away because you got a lot of memories celebrating 40 years of uh, of the turtle. Well, I think we're talking about 1976 when it first started. And look, what was happening in 1976? USA was celebrating its 200th birthday. Gerald Ford was in the White House. Marvin Mandel was in Annapolis. He was uh, the, the governor of Maryland at that time. Harry Kelly was running Ocean City at that time. Earl Weaver was the skipper of the, of the uh, Baltimore Orioles. And we had a team, football team, called the Baltimore Colts that played at Memorial Stadium. And we also had a clothing store called O.C. Rags that used to be here. So it's amazing what happened. 1976, Phil and you know, start, started it uh, along with Mr. Holden. And then you came in, and it, look how it's taken off. It's one of the great American uh, business success stories, and you deserve a lot of credit. So. Yeah, it's, 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 it's myself and Tommy, actually. Yeah. And really, the truth is, Tommy had more to do with it because I was coaching lacrosse at Salisbury. I was working part-time, and Tommy was working full-time here. And I guess it was 1980, I was coaching up at the Salisbury University, and Tommy came running out on the field, and he said, Bapo, Bapo, stop. And I said, Tommy, we're right in the middle of practice. He goes, no, 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 Mike and Phil want to sell us a turtle. And that's how it all started. And I remember I was a customer here at that time, and it was a very subdued, laid-back place. It, it felt like you were in an English pub. When you when you walked in, there were books on the wall. It looked like a library. There were spiral staircases, if I remember. No food was served except peanuts. Right. Well, that's true. Uh, our Tommy, when I, Tommy and I first worked here, our job when we first got to work was to light all the candles. We would have to go upstairs, get the box of candles, and start lighting candles. The tables were all backgammon boards, and yes, Mike Holden was the reason why there were so many books. Mike Holden was a speed reader, yeah. and he would read one or two books a day. And so he would take the books, and, he, and, we, and there were shelves going through the place. So the place was uh, an English-style pub. It was called a public house, spelled differently, spelled the English way. And that's that was their whole thought process, was to, to make this place an old English bar. And then, of course, when Tommy and I took it over... In 81, the first things we did was kind of change the concept. We put TVs in and neons, and we did entertainment, and we just, you know, well, I shouldn't say, Mike, when, when we worked here, Mike had, uh, had Teenage Lust, it was called, the original Teenage Lust, and uh, that's, that's, that was really the entertainment that we had. It was Mike's band, and they played like two. We had the original jam session on Sundays, and on Sundays, we would, the jam session would start around 3 or 4 o'clock, and by 7 o'clock, we ran out of everything. Because the place was so small, it was only 1,600 square feet. And we would run out of beer, ice, everything. So we'd close the place up and go to BJ's. <laughs> Mike and Phil were very innovative. They were the first people in Ocean City to have the mugs that you could uh, get. And also, it was the first bar I can remember where they had the uh, the bell, that they rang the bell when they got a good tip. I remember Mike doing that, and that's the first time I ever saw that. So they were pretty innovative. Of course, uh, Phil later had the Talbot Street Cafe, and uh, so it was an inter interesting bar. So. Well, it's... What the, the reason why it was so successful is because of Mike and Phil, but the, you know, one, of their, one of their demises was that it got too busy. Mike, when towards the end, before Tommy and I bought it, we used to have lines going around the building, and Mike and Phil didn't want that. They didn't want a, uh, you know, a packed place. They wanted a nice, comfortable, you know, English-style pub. So, of course, Tommy and I, when, when the transition started, we, we made it from... A, 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 an English style pub low key to a sports bar and we had entertainment and we had a lot of our friends Tommy and I had a lot of friends from Salisbury University at the time so you know they would all come here and the rest is history. Well, somebody told me the original Green Turtle logo I read someplace actually uh, Phil and Mike were re they wrote it down on a, a napkin or something like that that's what I heard and then Phil I think I ran into Phil not too long ago at the Green Turtle and Lewis when they were putting that together and I think he said he found the logo someplace in a in a in a shed or someplace like that. I really don't know. <laughs> well, actually, Scott Harrington came up with the logo. He passed away since, but Scott Harrington was was the guy who came up with the logo. And he the Hoopers logo. The uh, I don't know about that, but I know he did our logo, and and he actually put the little uh 
little, I guess, sweat, sweat beads coming off the turtle and the little smirk and the turtle smile. That was Scott Harrington. It was, a, and the logo is iconic. That's what makes the turtle what it is. It's the logo. I mean, everybody. A lot of times, we'll we'll just when we do advertising, we'll just use the logo and won't say anything else. For marketing, yeah. because because the brand, the brand is the turtle icon. And of course, the franchise company has kept that going. So. To this day, the icon is, it's infamous. It really is. Now, where does the name the Green Turtle come from, though? Uh, Mike and Phil were down in Ala Morada, down in the Keys, and they saw a bar they liked called the Green Turtle, a restaurant, actually, and when they came up here, that's what they uh, that's what they called it. And the rest, they say, they is history. Who was Steve? Let me ask you, who was the first DJ here? Ooh, was, that, was that Batman? I think, it, I, th I think he said he was. It was Batman. I can tell you, the, the DJs were Batman, a guy called the Bub. I don't know if you remember him, but Batman was probably the first DJ, and the Bub was here, and uh, they were the first two real DJs. But Batman, I think, was the, of course, Batman. He's legendary. Everybody knows Batman, yeah. you know? So, yeah, he was the first guy here. Now, we've got the 40th anniversary party coming up Thursday, June 16th, right, at 4 p.m. Uh, fill us in on the activities that day. Uh, we have a lot of our old old bartenders and, and, and friends that used to work here years ago are going to be tending bar. Uh, we got Rocket 88, Mark and Rocket 88 are going to be playing. We've got you DJing along with uh, Batman. And then later that night, I think we have DJ Wood. And we're doing uh, our drafts, I believe, are going to be 65-cent drafts. I think 85. 5 cent drafts, the same price that it was back in 1976. But I'll take 65. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. You know, I'm getting old. I can't remember. And uh, we're just, you know, it's just going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I... It's it's we want to we 40 years is a long time, especially in Ocean City, with all the new bars and and the the mega places that are opening up. For us to last this long is is it's it's a it's a true testament to the to the brand and to our employees. Our you know we have Karen and Gene and Louise and uh, Denny I can't forget the dude and and Sean and Ryan. We've had guys that have been here for so long. I'm, I know I'm gonna miss somebody, but. We've had employees that Karen's been here from day one. Yeah. Well, and, and, and Gene uh, served me my first at Miller Lite. But, uh, I mean, Wayne, just, uh, and I mentioned this earlier with Steve, uh, to me, yeah, you can come in and, and get a beer, uh, you know, get a stiff drink, uh, get a shot, whatever you want. But to me, it's about the community, about the family, the people, the laughs and all that. And, and Tony, who always is here every day, is, is a hoot. But to me, that's what it's about. And I know you've been here much longer than I have. Yeah. Well, it all started 116th Street. It's great. You know, when I used to come in here and just have a beer and eat some peanuts, to see the growth and what it started in Ocean City, 116th Street, and now it's all over the place, all over Maryland, all over Delaware, and it's just, it's great, it's great. The second uh, was it what West Ocean City, right? No, 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 no. Ah, that's a good. Uh, Batman's gonna need some trivia questions, and I got to give it to him, but I'll let you hear it now. First one was Ocean City, it's 116th Street. Second was Fells Point. We brought in Billy Packer, who now owns the, the Turtle and Towson and still has the Fells Point. Then we opened up Laurel, Maryland with Mike Sanford. And then we opened up, uh, then West Ocean City and Edgewater opened up a week apart. And they were the first five original Turtles. Then we started getting into franchising and things like that. Well, I, I got to tell you, Steve, and, and, and from a personal standpoint, you know, as I mentioned, I appreciate the family atmosphere. I appreciate the opportunities because I remember when you came in uh, back, the old Great Scott Broadcasting, when I had come back from doing my first gig in Baltimore doing Sports Talk Radio, and uh, you, you had the uh, Ravens rap show, which was on another station. We got it transferred over to uh, our uh, rock station at the time when I was there, and you were like, well, who do you have to be able to run this show now? And uh, they gave you me a little background on me, but you, you had faith in me, and here we are, what, eight, nine years later that I've been doing the Ravens rap show and now we're on radio and TV we're here on WGMD which is great and uh, and now you're a fine advertiser here so we, we really appreciate it oh my I can tell you I can't tell you how much I appreciate you and I did tell you, you're getting a raise this year <laughs> uh, my yeah my my attorney's working on it. 100% raise this year <laughs> you you are a true professional you do a great job I mean you do your homework you know more about the Ravens 
uh, you know, if you ever give up your day job, you should get a job at the Ravens. <laughs> that's what people say, but I, that's not happening anytime soon. But uh, no, but we thank you. And Steve, we look forward to celebrating uh, 40 years coming up on the uh, on the 16th. It's going to be a great, uh, great time. And we look forward to everybody coming down. Thanks, Mike. And thanks, Wayne. Thanks for doing this. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Wayne, thank you, sir. We appreciate uh, uh, coming down today on location. It's great. And it's always a great job. And what a festive atmosphere. It was fun. Let's do this every Friday. Yeah, uh, yeah I would love I would love that. Absolutely.